Good luck with that. Time for your phone-in. We've been joined by osteopath Anisha Joshi, who's here to help with our aches and pains. Anisha. So many of Hi. us with these aches and pains out there. Let's start off with Sophie, um, who wants to know about a trapped nerve. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Hey, Sophie. So, Sophie, what are you, what are you experiencing right now? I've got a trapped nerve in my right shoulder. I've been camping, um, slept funny on it, woke up. I've, I've tried all kinds of therapy, massage and stuff like that. Um, I'm unable to take anti-inflammatories because I've had a kidney transplant, so I can't have ibuprofen or nothing like that. Yeah. I'm just wondering if there's anything else that can help relieve the, the trapped nerve or it could even be a knot. Mm. So... Um... Hi, Sophie. This is incredibly common that people think that they have a trapped nerve and it sounds like you probably do. So one of the things to consider, you mentioned you can't sleep on one side, but yeah. the most important thing is that you actually get sleep itself. Mm. So um, sleeping however you can is the best way to sleep, if that makes sense. I've also yeah. got a great tip for you. So get your pillowcase at home. Yeah. Got quite a big pillowcase here, but then I am quite a small person, so it's kind of Sophie, you've it's relative. On. Can you see this, Sophie? Can you see I'm this? Only five, I'm only five one myself. I am only small there you three. Go. Okay. They don't make diamonds the size of bricks, they say. That's <laughs> it. So, so if you pop your elbows by your side and then yeah. you put your arms to the edge of the pillowcase and then slowly bring it up above your head and then back down again like this. That that's really good to engage the muscles at the rear of your shoulder. So what muscles are you engaging there? What? So it's it's all the way through your arms, through your deltoids, mm -hmm. your traps, and the rhomboids at the back. So if, if you're experiencing that pain in your shoulder blade, then it's just going to yeah. engage it and strengthen it. Yeah. OK. Yeah. When you're doing this move... I'll give it a go. Yeah, give it a go. When you're doing this movement, is it normal that that would be hurting whilst doing that? And is it OK to carry on? Yeah, so you want to lean into the pain a little bit. Yeah. Um, obviously, if anything is agony, it's best to just go within your remit. Mm. Yeah. You know, if I was doing that above my head, you don't want to go too far if it's hurting. Yeah. But just, just be confident in your body because our bodies are so strong. OK. Anisha, how much of this kind of, like, like you said, when you sleep, Sleep's obviously so restorative. How much of this can the body heal itself for the trapped mm. nerve? Will it calm down over time or would you genuinely need to go and see someone? Um, do you know, I would say that majority of the time it does calm down itself. So pain is incredibly complex. Mm. We yeah. know that sleep, stress, exercise and nutrition all contribute to when someone is in pain. Yeah. So even if we look at stress, stress increases like cortisol within your body and that's an inflammatory response. Yeah. So that inflammation will increase pain perception that someone's okay. experiencing. So it's yeah. important to consider all of those things. Yeah. OK. Well, best of luck, Sophie. Uh, let's yes. go to Melissa now, also on Merseyside. Uh, Melissa, hiya. Hello, hiya. Hey, hi. Melissa. Cheers for calling in. So this is about your posture, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, over to you. Um, basically, I used to work in a dentist, so I did lean to one side quite a lot, so uh, my posture's declined quite a bit. Uh, and every time I move my shoulder blades back, like, they click a lot, so it's just quite painful, really. Yeah. yeah. So, Melissa, does it hurt when you hear that clicking sound? Yeah, it's just uncomfortable. Okay, so our bodies click and make sounds all the time. And unless it's sort of really agony, there's not much to worry about if your body's clicking when you do things. Um, but when it comes to posture itself, um, actually, there's very little evidence to show that posture increases back or neck pain or oh, shoulder really? pain. Yeah. Gosh. So it's probably more Great likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get comfy, Dermot. <laughs> um, I won't say how you look, though. But <laughs> <laughs> it's. Um, it's more probably that you're at the dentist, you're working hard and you're staying in that posture for a long time. Mm -hmm. So it's something we say as, as musculoskeletal experts, which is the best posture is the next posture. So bear yeah. that in mind. OK, yeah. Does that help? 
Yeah, that's great. Thank you. No worries. Thank Thanks. you, Melissa. Thank, Thank you. you. So next up, Judith is saying, I can't get out of bed. I have back, shoulder and neck pain. It's been like this for about 10 years on and off. I've tried exercises, but nothing works. The GP isn't being very helpful. I can't get out of bed today because of it. I am desperate. Mm -hmm. What can I do? Judith, I'm so sorry to hear this. What can Judith do? That's It's so tough when this yeah. happens because... You know, and I'm sure that there's loads of people at home that are going, that's happened to me before. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and really what you want to do, you're, you're probably in bed now watching this, and I would say just very gentle movements whilst you're lying on your back, mm. sort of slow controlled knee tucks, just as much as you can to then gradually increase the movement and, and yeah. the confidence to sort of try and get yourself out of bed. Okay. Um, you can then do things like um, stretching with a towel, for instance. So, you know, these are things that you have to do within your pain threshold. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I understand right now that Judith can't move. Um, so it's about gradually building up to these things. Yeah. So one of the things, um, if you've got back, neck and shoulder problems, my favourite thing is to use a bath towel like this. Um, a bath towel because it's longer. Mm -hmm. You can put it behind your back, grab it with the other hand, and then you pull it down like this. So it's one continuous movement okay. like this. So not a static stretch, yeah. but it's more mobility. Yes. And you just switch the other side. Yeah. And these sorts of things gradually will help to increase the movement and help prevent stagnant <sighs> behaviour. And it's just thank you so much. Always great when you come in. Um, thank you. Always give you great insight. And, you know, and I've, I've, got, I've got skin in the game as well, so it always helps me out. <laughs> thank you. A uh, quick word about uh, Wednesday's show. Interiors uh, guru Kelly Hoppins here to take your calls. Yes, whether you need a bedroom that needs a makeover or you're not sure about what paint colour to pick go for your kitchen, she is going to be solving your design dilemmas. Yeah, if you'd like a chance to speak to Kelly, send in a video of the space you want to help with alongside your name and your contact number to ITV, uh, th sorry, this morning at ITV.com. And please do be quick. We need those in by 4pm this afternoon. So, still to come.